Hello, my name is Pearl of The Beading Gem and here is my latest tutorial. Here's what you need to make this easy pair of decoupage wood earrings. First of all, you need blanks. You can get any blanks anywhere, but the ones that I use here in this tutorial are the small size teardrops from my Etsy store. These are sized specifically for people who don't like large earrings. I also prefer to use printed origami paper. They come in all kinds of designs. They're not as thick as scrapbook paper, nor are they as thin as napkin paper. You also don't need decoupage glue specifically. Mod Podge will do just as well. I use the matte version in this tutorial. You also don't need to buy a whole big can of wood stain. Just get a set of furniture repair markers, which comes in all kinds of colors. The first step is to sand the wood blanks thoroughly and brush off the debris. You can color the backs of the earrings with the furniture repair markers either before you decoupage or after. You can also add a second layer of stain if you prefer a darker color. It also helps to paint in the direction of the wood grain. Once the backs of the earrings are dry, cut out some origami paper slightly larger than the wood pieces themselves. Then apply a thin layer of Mod Podge to both the backs of the paper as well as the unfinished sides of the wood pieces. It's important to make sure that you press the paper evenly onto the wood blanks. Put a weight on the glued pieces and leave to dry. Then carefully cut out the excess paper using an X-Acto knife. If you do not cut through immediately, go over the same area again. Next, color the edges of the wood with the marker pen. You can either stay within the edges of the wood or you can go slightly over the edge to give the finished decoupage pieces a framed look. Remember to apply one to two layers of Mod Podge thoroughly on the earrings front and back and sides to completely seal them. Add the bales or jump rings and the ear wires to the earrings and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial. Please visit my blog beadinggem.com to see more tips, tutorials and inspirations on jewelry making. Please also subscribe to this channel to see more tutorials in the future. See you later.